If you guys are looking to get the guaranteed cheapest Madden NBA or FIFA mobile coins, then head over to MMO Tank and use code Ducky for 10. Yes, 10% off of your entire purchase. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Boy the Gamer back again with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be training up the new John Kuhn that I got from last week's tournament. I honestly was like, I think I was top 3%, so I have no clue why I got him, but it's been a while since I've been able to get one of the tournament reward players, so I thought I would train him up, put him on my team, and do some gameplay because I honestly would like a fullback on my team. I, I've been running two halfbacks for the longest time, so if I can get a good blocking fullback um, for my main halfback, which is Herschel Walker, I think that'd be really good for my team. And as you guys saw at the beginning of the video um one i should have done notification shout out to notification squad so one there's that but secondly um i am sponsored or i am sponsoring mmo tank now they're a completely legit site um and really i'm sponsoring them because they allow me to make better videos and i will be uploading a fifa mobile bundle pack opening or bundle opening later on tonight which is once again really only possible because of the sponsorship so if you guys get triggered by the little seven second intro then skip it or if you are looking to get coins use code ducky 10 percent off it is the highest um, percentage uh, discount code at MMO Tank bigger than Bobby Buckets, bigger than XG or Xavier Game White. I'm not trying to you know discourage them or like hate on them, Sam. Ducky, it'll get you 10% off. And this is once again the really only time that I'm going to talk about it. I'm not going to sell out at the beginning of every video. I'm going to have the intro just like the old coin store sponsor, but now it is with MMO Tank. So if you're looking for coins, head over there. But my goal for this video is to get John Kuhn, and I hope. That's how you pronounce his last name. It's either Kuhn or Kun or something like that. I don't. If I'm pronouncing his last name wrong, I apologize. Um, I just. I don't think I've ever heard his last name pronounced in a video or like on you know the announcer saying his name in a game, something like that. So I apologize if I'm butchering his name the entire video. Um, but I have a ton of elites on my bench right now. And another thing is a lot of people hate when I use elites to train up my players. But for me in a video. If I'm going to be training up a player, I want it to be quick for you guys. I don't want to sit there putting in 500 gold players to train my guy up a few levels. So I went out and bought around 20 elites and the prices of elites have gone down a little bit. They're I think around 150,000 coins per elite player. So it is going down the price of gold players as well as going down. So hopefully when the, the price is settled, then uh, Mad Mobile will take away the pro pack limit. So hopefully within a few days, I'll be back to streaming good old Mad Mobile pro pack content. But as you can see, I have a ton of elites, so we're just going to go and start piling in these elites. Yes, apply training points, level him up. We're almost at level 2 already, so that's a pretty easy level up right there. Antonio Gates, 82 overall. I'm not going to use him. He might as well go to training points. Two levels right there, so 90 overall. John K. I'm just going to say John K probably because I don't want to butcher his last name. Even if I am pronouncing it right, I still, you know, rather be safe than sorry. So another Brandon Shell going in. Let's see, let's see. Who else is going to go uh, towards the leveling up? All right, so maybe we'll do David Harris. That's not a full level up, so two David Harris's um, will get us another level 93. So once again, my goal is 100 overall, and I have a bunch of elites to put towards him, and I'm not necessarily going to use all of them because if it just becomes like really uh, useless to upgrade him past 100 overall, I probably won't do so. So 93 overall, he has 91 speed, 95 strength, absolute uh, beast, 73 run block, which is not too good, 81 pass block, and uh yeah pretty other pretty decent stats well so he's not going to be used for running but uh, if i need a few xgrs i can use fullback blast or fullback dive i think it is just burst through the d-line basically in the o-line and get the easy first down so i know this is not the fastest card or the best card in the world but he does get plus one block on runs and there is a new running tournament coming up so it will be really helpful if i have this card for the running tournament because that's literally all it is it's just running plays so that's honestly that compared with the fact that i want a fullback back on my team that's basically why i'm doing this video and then i will be playing uh one or maybe two head-to-head -head games trying to show off some of the fullback dives or just some fullback uh moves because fullbacks don't have too many plays in this game so it might be a little difficult to get some of the gameplay but um it is pretty cool i think the last player i got from the uh the tournament rewards was uh, michael crabtree i think that might have been like literally the first week of the game was one of the last times i got the rewards so we're getting a little low in elites i'm not gonna lie so ryan Tannehill, yes jeremy macklin uh carlos hyde so we're still a few thousand training points short i do have a lot of gold players that i bought um because i was gonna buy gold players once again for this leveling up process but then i realized how long it's gonna take if i decided to do that so I, th I believe all of those color rush players are auctionable, so I want to keep them for as long as I can, and I don't want to get stuck at 98 overall. That would be an insane bummer. So right now we are 98 overall, we're halfway through. So um, I'm trying to think who can uh, probably just a keep to leave to be honest. 
I know he's a most secure player and he might be auctionable, but honestly, he's a pretty bad card. I had really bad experiences with like, you know, playing with him, you know, trying to pass to him. He dropped a lot of wide open passes, so keep leave. Sorry, man, you're going to be turned into 100 overall John K. There we go. 107 overall would be basically impossible with the amount of players that I have. I mean, I could put in all these players, but they are color rush players that are extinct. They're really cool card art, and I want to keep them uh, maybe for a later on promo or video down the road. Um, but so 100 overall, let me go and check the stats. 96 speed, 100 strength, 95 agility, 95 excel, 99 awareness, 78 run block, 86 pass block, 74 elusiveness, and 89 carry. So He's basically just like honestly a well-rounded player. He's not super fast. He's not. I mean, he is like really strong, but he's not like 110 strength and then everything else else is pretty low. So it is a pretty well-rounded out card. I am very glad that I spent those training points and those coins to get him. So now let's head over to my team. I believe he is already on the team. See so yeah, 100 overall. He uh, I think Marshall Falk. So let's compare the stats. So basically, uh, John is stronger. He's stronger, more agile. He has better awareness, better run block. And basically, Marshall Falk is a better halfback. But once again, this is a fullback position, so I'm not too concerned about, you know, elusiveness and all that crazy stuff. So let's go and try to play a head to head game. Um, we actually have one our, in all pro already set up for me. I, I didn't plan this. I, that's really lucky that we already managed to have a game set up. So um, once again, there aren't too many plays that deal with the fullback position. I don't even know if there's any run plays. There might be a, or a pass plays. There might be a few. I maybe I can search through the playbook, see if I can find something. But definitely fullback dive. And that's about all I could think of off the top of my head. But he, this guy does have the uh, the Mosford Stadium. Looking sick. That's the stadium that I rock on my account. So if you guys ever play me, there you go. You'll know. So let's see. Fullback dive. There's halfback dive. Uh, let me see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. But I'm trying to find it. Can I not find it? All right, boys, I found it. I was just honestly kind of tripping. But yeah, I think literally every single thing else is a halfback play. There's a, here's a fake oh, fake halfback toss. Actually, this might be a fullback play. I'm not sure. Hopefully it is. Oh, no, it's a fake toss. And I thought it was going to fake it to the halfback. But they faked it to the fullback, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and do the one running play that deals with a fullback second and 16 holy crap that was an awful run right there and once again if i keep on using the same play over and over and over then i'll get countered over and over and over so hail mary there's i don't think there's really any plays that deal with the fullback position unfortunately um so i guess this video might be a short one we can try fullback dive once again to see if anything happens might get countered so we're not gonna get countered but there's a guy literally waiting right there for me to tackle so let's see pa pass i feel like there's one play that's gotta have him it looks as just the fullback is just a blocking because that's I mean the, that's his main job is to block so i did just train up a really good blocking fullback as you guys saw so we can try maybe this is it no it's walker yeah so basically it's almost impossible to get gameplay with this guy crabtree oh i did not know his route he does not catch the ball so at this point i might as well just end off the gameplay because there's no point in me playing you know trying to get gameplay when i can't even play with the car but I guess that's really it for the video guys once again um the mmo tank sponsorship is at least for the next month and i hope it will be around um for a while because once again it lets me make really cool videos i could even start doing weekly giveaways or gift cards or coins whatever you guys want let me know in the comment section below because i know some of you guys last night were pretty ticked off that i was getting a coin sponsor once again it helps me make better content bigger better content for this channel but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like also if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button right below this video so you can be notified whenever i do upload the newest madden fifa and nba live mobile content so other than that it has been boy duck of the gamer and i will see you guys in the next video peace